Um, I started playing basketball like fourth grade, stuff like that, just in a church league. I wasn't one of the taller kids till like, I don't know, sixth, seventh grade, and then I just kind of sprouted up. Coach Izzo called one day, and he was like, yeah, you you have a scholarship offer here. And I was like, really? And we, I, like, I didn't believe him for a while, um, but eventually I started to believe him, and then I stopped talking, because I was like, holy crap, Michigan State offered me. I had a feeling, like I was like, man, this is really a good place, but it took me about two months of going through all the options, talking to all the different people, talking to the different people in my life who helped influence me with everything I've done. Yeah, it was a quick two months because you, you knew Michigan State's where I wanted to be. I'm realizing now it was a normal coach's reaction then. I was like, man, this is cool. He's really excited. But <laughs> now, now I, know, I realize, yeah, I mean, he's just an excited person, but he was just like pounding the tape. Yeah, here we go and stuff like that, but um, no, it, it was exciting being there. Uh, it was up in the conference room, and family was there, pastor was there, it, it was a good time. I guess it's how I've been raised that you just need a few good people in your life to help direct and push you. The best part about being a, being a Spartan is knowing you have 15 other guys on the team who are gonna push you every day so you can get better. You need to keep those people close so they tell you when you're being stupid and cocky and so you know when to pull back. It, it, you need those close people who won't lie to you just to make you happy and so they can be around you. Every single one of these guys want to do something in basketball, which makes it a lot easier for the individual because they have other people trying to push them. So the best part about being a Spartan is having a team. I have people I look, look up to, I guess, I mean, that I hope I can be like, like Kevin Love or um, Tyler Hansborough, stuff like that. But to have a role model, I mean, I have my dad who shows me a way to do certain things. Ultimately, you have God who is the perfect example. Bringing the mindset and being mature enough to keep going every single day and saying, oh shoot, I gotta go shoot now. And just staying on the grind 100% of the time and being mentally focused the entire time is one thing that I'm starting to learn. Justin Bieber, one time. That's what I got. I got, I'm a Justin Bieber fan, so I got a lot of his songs, and that's probably one of the girliest songs he has, so, yeah. From my personal experience, it's like, man, these kids are actually looking up to me. I can't screw up. Like, you don't think about it all the time, but when you do, it's like, shoot, I gotta watch what I'm doing. And um, it is more pressure, but I think that also helps you to be a better person. Um, so those kids do have something to look up to. In 25 years, man, you're making me think a long way out. <laughs> Shoot, I don't know, I've never thought about that before. Uh, 25 years, I'd really like to be coaching.